Okay, so we're back again, and um, because I've got the video running, I can introduce you to my dog. Hello, there you are, hello. She's sitting on my lap, she's just come up, so she gets to say hello. Um, <coughs> where were we? Yes, we've just looked at uh, raw MIDI, well, relatively raw MIDI in data, in uh, three packets, if you like, or three... Uh, uh, status and data bytes, um, but most of the time we don't need to bother about this at all um, because we have these uh, various objects which will do the work of what's called passing the information for us. There, yeah. So most of the time you can get rid of this completely, um, and if you put uh, number objects coming out of all of these. Um, maybe I should move these out just a little bit to make it a little bit clearer. Um, you'll see that when I press a note, then uh, that relevant information comes through. So uh, we don't need to t we don't need the, the information that it's a note because we know that it's a note. It says so on the screen, um, <coughs> and uh, it will give us um, the note number from the left-hand outlet, a velocity from the middle outlet, and channel number from the right-hand outlet. Now, from this keyboard, uh, we're only worried about the, uh, well, it, it's only going to send us the first channel unless I um, mess about the keyboard and, and get it to give me other channels. <coughs> um, but uh, anyway, uh, so that the controller inputs, uh, in, uh, sorry, the control in object, um, again, if I, if I change this, um, knob up here then we can see that the first the first outlet gives us the value of the controller the second outlet gives us the controller number and again the third outlet gives us the uh, the channel so always the rightmost outlets will give us the channel number and if I if I go to a different um, uh, knob on here it will give me controller number 80 and again values for that controller and so on so we can go through all the controllers here once again the modulation wheel is always controller channel controller number one sorry um, and then the bend in uh, object gives us uh, bend control. Notice that um, the middle uh, value is 64 and, um, and then goes up to 127 and down to 0. Um, and then we've got the uh, channel number of 1 there. Um, I didn't even have to uh, lock the patch. Notice it's still functional. functional. It's still receiving that data even when the patch isn't locked. Um, if I were to uh, simply put in a, a note out object oops, out, and, control, and connect that up to the respective outlets and do the same with the uh, CTR out, CTR out. Um, for the controllers there are certain controller numbers which are defaulted to certain um, uh, means of modulation on um, on the synth that uh, comes with the computer. So uh, again, if I if I press a note on here, it should run straight through to the MIDI synth, which it does. Um, but also with the modulation wheel, um, there we go. Because the the uh, synth recognises uh, controller number one as being modulation, it will route it to that parameter and